Hello and welcome. In this video, we continue talking about pricing management module in Dynamics 365, and we will concentrate on new auto charges functionality. First, I'll show you the configurations that had to be put in place, and then we will walk through several scenarios on the sales order where the auto charges are added either on the header or the lines level. The first setup we need to review is the price attribute groups. So we navigate to the pricing management module, go to setup, price attribute groups. In here, we have a collection of attributes on the header and the line level. We will be using the following attribute groups. Customer basic, it's a header tab attribute, and it has several fields from a customer master, sales order master, as well as the customer and sales order attributes. If you would like to learn more about the attributes, please review the first video from this series. We will also use order basic, that also is a header group. And then we will use order line basic and product basic attribute groups. This will combine attributes on the line level, such as uh, release product level, product attributes, or the fields on the sales order line. Once those are created, we will then need to look at the price component codes. Go to price component codes right here. In this form, we will see all the price components that have been configured. Some of these component codes have been configured to define a base price, some of them uh, for the sales price via the trade agreement. But what we will concentrate on during this demonstration is this environmental fee, and it has the component type auto charges. In here, I have combined those two attribute groups from the header level, customer basic and order basic, as well as the line attribute groups, product basic and order line basic. So these are the combinations that will determine the attributes that will be available to me when I will be configuring the auto charges. And in here on the bottom, the system automatically generates the attribute group combinations and it automatically assigns the combination code right here, which will be quite critical when several auto charges are applicable. I will talk more about that during the demonstration. Another thing that we want to review is the pricing management parameters. And let's go to the prices and discounts. And in here on the bottom, we see that apply existing auto charges is set to no. That means that existing auto charges framework will not be applicable here. With this config in place, let's finally go and define an auto charge. We will navigate to charge setup right here and go to auto charges. In here, we have no auto charges configured yet on the sales order header level. So let's create one. Click on the new. The first thing we need to do is select that price component code. And if you click on the drop down, you see there's only one value. That's the only value that was defined that has this auto charges component code type. Then we have to give it a name. I will apply a freight charge to an order if the customer belongs to a region from Europe. So the name will be freight for Europe customers. Now you see that the header price attributes button is disabled. So what I need to do is save it. Before I add any lines, I need to click on this header price attributes group and I need to define for which header attribute group will this auto charge be applicable. If I leave it to all, this auto charge will be applied to all sales orders. We don't want to do that. We want to limit that auto charge to a specific region. We will select a group option right here. And if we click on the attribute groups, those two groups may look familiar, right? Those are the ones that contain attributes from the header level. What I know is that the attribute on the region resides in this customer basic attribute group. Let's select that. And right here, I see all the attributes that belong to that group. And the region is right here. Click on the drop down, select Europe. System will show us all the customers that belong to that group. Mara Gentry is the only customer that is currently assigned to Europe region. So once we made that selection, we will click on OK. And this step right here is just to specify the charge code. So I have an existing charge code freight. I will stick with a fixed category. Let's specify maybe amount of 100 US dollars and let's save it. With this configuration in place, we can now try to create two sales orders. I navigated to the All Sales Order List page. I will click on New. And first, I will create a sales order for Mara Gentry customer. Click on OK. And because the auto charge that I expect to be applied is on the header level, I don't even have to create any sales order lines. All I have to do is go to the Sell tab, click on Maintain Charges. 
and see that there is a freight auto charge with $100 has been automatically applied to that sales order. Now to test it, I will create a sales order for another customer that does not belong to the Europe region. Let's go back, click on new, select another customer and click on maintain charges. We see that the system here did not apply that freight auto charge because the customer does not belong to Europe region. Now let's take a look at, at a bit more advanced scenario that is driven by the sales order lines. What I will do here is go back to my auto charges and change the level from header to line. In here, I have two auto charges that are applicable to sales order lines. The first one is carbon fee. I'm using this carbon fee charge code and the amount here is $20 fixed. We need to understand for which sales order lines this charge will be applicable. If we look at the line price attributes, we see that I drive the criteria by attributes from the sales order line. In this case, I'm using this product basic attribute group. If the item has product attribute NAC set to V, then we would want to apply that carbon fee. And here, as usual, we see all the items for which that attribute equals V. And in here, we see the item that I will be using for our testing right here. And the second fee is called plastic bag fee. We see the amount is $10 fixed. And let's take a look which attributes drive that auto charge. Click on line price attributes. We're using a different attribute group, order line basic. This attribute group has only one attribute, line mode of delivery. If the mode of delivery on the sales order line is overnight, we would apply a plastic bag fee. Because this attribute really comes in from the sales order line, this list includes all the products. Now, if you noticed, I have this auto charge concurrency mode and it's set to always apply for our plastic bag fee and it's also set to always apply for our carbon fee. Let's now test it on the sales order. Go back to our sales order and we're going to add this item. And now we can see which charges were auto applied to the line. Click on financials, maintain charges. We see that only carbon fee has been applied. And if you remember that charge is driven by the product attribute. Just to confirm, we can go and check the NAC attribute value for this product. Let's go to the item master and navigate to product attributes. Select NAC and we see the value for the NAC attribute is V. Hence, that is why that $20 carbon fee has been applied. We also noticed that the plastic bag fee was not applied and that fee was driven by the line mode of delivery. Let's check mode of delivery on this line. It's set to 99, which our auto charge is configured to do that only if the mode of delivery equals to overnight. Let's change it to overnight and check the charges again. We see the system automatically added a second charge for that plastic bag fee. Let's go back. Now let's change the concurrency mode on our auto charges. I will go and select not always apply, but price attribute combination rank for both of these auto charges. Go back to my sales order and create another line, same item. And here right away, I will change my mode of delivery to overnight. Remember in previous scenario, both auto charges were applied to that line. With this scenario though, we can now check the auto charges. And we see that only carbon fee of $20 has been applied to that sales order. There is no plastic bag fee, even though the mode of delivery is overnight. So why was that charge selected? We will go back to our auto charges. There is this combination rank. For this line, it's set to 20. And for the carbon fee, it's set to 30. If we're using this concurrency mode charge with a higher rank will be selected. That is why we see the carbon fee of $20 because it has a rank of 30 and we do not see plastic bag fee because it has a lower rank of 20. Where do we control these ranks? Because you may notice that on this screen, I can only see the value, but I cannot edit it. We need to go back to price component codes, select our environmental fee, scroll down to that section and take a look at these two records right here. These two records are for all header attribute groups and they are for basic product attribute group and order line basic attribute group. And you may notice 30 and 20. And that is why the product basic attribute group has the highest priority and that's why the auto charge defined for that group was applied to a sales order line. 
If we want to test it, all we can do is just reduce that priority, for example, on this line to a lower value, let's say 10. Go back to our auto charges. The charge that was ranked 30 now has been updated to be ranked 10. So we drop the priority of that carbon fee auto charge. And now plastic bag fee has a higher priority. Let's save that change and let's test it on the sales order. Go back to our sales order, add a new line for the same item, make sure the mode of delivery is set to overnight and review the charges for that second line. We see that the plastic bag fee was applied and the carbon fee was not. That is the concurrency mode in action. So I hope it gave you some sense about the new auto charges framework, which is a part of that pricing management module. The last thing I want to mention here is there is a few additional options that have been added. When I create a new sales order, select our customer here, scroll all the way to the bottom, I see there are two options here. Skip pricing auto calculation. It will exclude that sales order from any pricing management logic. So we will be in full control over the sales price or any discounts that will be applicable to that sales order. And there's also this delay price calculations. So let me just select that and click on OK. Now I'm going to add my item. And if I scroll to the right, we see that the unit price remains blank. That is because we asked the system to delay price calculation. But what I have here now is this recalculate button under sell fast tab. And if I click on that, you see the system then executes that pricing management logic to come up with the sales price. So I think it can be beneficial for the performance reasons if you want to add multiple sales order lines and then trigger that function to calculate the prices and discounts for all sales order lines. That is all I wanted to show to you today. Uh, there is this prorate option that I did not discuss. And if there is enough interest, I may cover it in the next video on this topic. I uh, hope you found it useful. Until the next time.